health news right now. Keeping your prostate healthy and reducing your risk of cancer is extremely important. And as you age, there's a lot you can do to stay healthy. And ahead of the game, Dr. John Humphrey, urologist at Spectrum Health Medical Group is here. Hello, Dr. Humphrey. Good morning. Thanks Pleasure for having me. Pleasure to have you on the show. Appreciate well, it. That's our pleasure, actually. First, let's start with No Shave November. You look like you belong in my camp. We, we have younger looking faces. Indeed, yes. So do you do you take part of the No Shave November? Oh, I try, but it's uh, a little bit difficult for me to finish the job. I so. think we're in the same boat. <laughs> Every time I try No Shave November, and for those who don't know, that's to raise awareness to prostate health. You'll find a lot of men growing beards and Definitely. mustaches and goatees and well, I, I splotchy, whatever puts on my face. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. But the, raising awareness to this, how prevalent is prostate cancer in America? Oh, it's very prevalent. So in, not only just cancer, but uh, over 30 million men deal with prostate issues uh, that negatively impact their quality of life. Uh, each year, approximately 220,000 men are diagnosed with prostate cancer. So a huge topic uh, that we really encourage people to discuss with their doctors. That's a pretty big number. And of course, there's a certain age. And we've had uh, doctors on before talking about it. It isn't always in invasive procedure there's a blood test that can look for things as well right but to get that checked out is extremely important early detection as always mm -hmm. is key right right you know and we also want to talk about uh, how it relates to sexual health mm -hmm. uh, sexual health is a very important uh, aspect of men's lives so now people might not correlate prostate health mm -hmm. with their sexual health. Right. Uh, how, how do those two correlate? Well, uh, you know, prostate health uh, includes a lot of different things, urinary system, uh, not only the cancer aspect, but also sexual health. And so it's very important to understand how the male reproductive organs work together with the rest of the body, uh, not only sexual health, prostate cancer, but overall well-being as, as well. And so the difference is the uh, prostate health, you know, it's, everyone thinks of cancer when they mm -hmm. hear prostate, they say prostate cancer, right. but they don't normally associate it with sexual health. And that's really one of those topics that's typically avoided. So right. you, are, you guys are trying to help that by having a doctor dialogue. Correct. Is that correct? Now, correct? So this isn't just you. This is you and two other doctors. You yeah. Had, you had a whole panel. Yeah, we have a panel. So it's myself, uh, Dr. Brian Lang, Dr. Chris Breedy, uh, really discussing prostate health, reducing the risk of prostate cancer as well. So uh, myself will be focusing on uh, that aspect of sexual health as it relates to the prostate. Uh, Dr. Chris Breedy will be discussing uh, urinary health okay. and symptoms that come along with prostate enlargement. Okay. Uh, and Dr. Brian Lane will be discussing uh, the risk of prostate cancer and screening tests uh, that we have available uh, really to help patients uh, with the informed decision uh, aspect of their prostate health. So really three main keys there, cancer, mm -hmm. urology, and sexual health, Correct. all as it relates to your prostate. Exactly. And November, of course, is coming up. We want to encourage you to get checked out. So mm -hmm. where can we find you if we'd like to get more information? Yeah, so uh, well, we encourage people to come to this event on November 2nd, uh, you can sign up uh, on our website, spectrumhealth.org uh, forward slash Dr. Dialogue. Um, and uh, if you can't attend the event, then we'll be streaming the event live huh. on uh, Spectrum Health Facebook page, uh, which is exciting. So There you go. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we, we encourage you to come see us if you think you need help. Uh, we're available 4069 Lake Drive, uh, Southeast and Grand Rapids. 616-267-7333. Uh, you you're doing my job for me now. You got all <laughs> the information, right? I like that, <laughs> doctor. If, 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 how would I know if there may be a need for me to have this checked out? I know that my annual physical at a certain age you get to, but what if you would, would I see any symptoms that would let me think, hey, maybe this is a prostate issue? Yeah, so you know, urinary symptoms can often be the first sign. So if you're going more frequently, more urgently, uh, if you have to get up at night to use the bathroom, uh, you know, several times, that can be a marker. So, or you know, really the bottom line is if something is concerning you, uh, start the conversation with your doctor. Absolutely, do it early. Thank yeah. you, doctor. All right. Appreciate Thank you. the time.